Welcome to our acetabular labral tears MRI video series included in the hip. And we're going to focus on the acetabular labrum for a number of reasons. It's incredibly interesting because it's such a tiny object that creates tremendous havoc in athletes, as we'll see. It's a very debilitating injury. What is an acetabular labral tear? It's a small either detachment or tear within a triangular fibrocartilaginous substance itself that again produces disproportionate symptoms. Who gets them? Well, older people get them with regular frequency, but they're often not problematic and they're oft asymptomatic because of the lower level of activity. But when even the smallest labral tear happens in a high performance athlete, for instance, a ballet dancer or an American football player, it can be catastrophic and career ending. And that's why it's such an interesting topic. What makes it even more interesting is the variations that exist within the labrum and the fact that the labrum with the smallest tear can produce massive symptomatology. These variations will be covered in this video series along with the evolution of the labrum as we go from the younger age where it's more triangular to an older age where it's more irregular or blunted. As you watch this video, I hope that you will get a greater level of comfort for what's a tear that's symptomatic. What's a tear that can be ignored? What are the different types of tears? And most importantly, what are the variations that may simulate a tear for overdiagnosing a tear that isn't there can be the greatest catastrophe of all.